From the Mementos of English Martyrs and Confessors for Every Day of the Year by Henry Sebastian Bowden. October 21st, The Hatred of Herodias, Part 2. St. Philip Howard, layman, 1595. Philip's life as a recusant, which he now was, made his residence in England even more perilous, and he determined to seek safety abroad. He had, however, scarcely embarked when his vessel was stopped by order of the council and he was taken prisoner for leaving the kingdom without the queen's leave and for being reconciled to the church he was fined a thousand pounds and sentenced to prison during the queen's pleasure at first in the tower he had considerable liberty and with his fellow catholics contrived to have mass but on the falsified charge of having prayed for the success of the armada he was tried for high treason and condemned to death. The sentence was not carried out, but he was subjected instead to a series of hardships and sufferings, the joint product of feminine malice and despotic power. For several years, a keeper, specially appointed by the queen, never left his presence, heard his every word, and constantly by false reports further increased the queen's wrath. His room was dark and exhaled a pestilential stench he was slandered to his wife as unfaithful to her and intemperate, nor was he ever allowed to see her. She herself was reduced to poverty.